Bitty baby's heart can walk. Can you hear bitty baby's heart? Is your heartbeat? Um, oh, somewhere? actually, my cry baby. Your cry baby. But this is belongs to my baby, and she even has medicine. That belongs to, okay. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. There's huge, enormous band-aids that go on the floor. Welcome to Miss Megan's Camp oh. Kindergarten. Mm -hmm. I am just, um, for those of you who are just tuning in, um, for the first time, welcome. Uh, to those of you who have been with us for nine weeks, welcome back. Um, many of you already know that um, normally when I have been doing the past eight weeks of uh, camp kindergarten, I'm able to use my phone on selfie mode so I can see what I'm doing. Facebook switched something and the buttons don't work right anymore, so I have to flip my phone around backwards. I see the back of my phone. We don't so ever gonna, know what we're looking at. Yeah, we don't really know what we're seeing, what you guys are seeing, because, and we can't read the comments, none of that, because I can only look at the back of my phone. So, I am... Unless we turn excuse around me, and somebody looks behind. Excuse me, you're interrupting. We're working on our interrupting, um, not interrupting. Um, so, I'm going to pull up our live feed on Camp Kindergarten in hopes that we can see what we're doing. It worked the past couple of days, so we're gonna try it again. And then we're gonna get going. We have a very special day today. Um, Wells has some exciting news to share with you, which we'll get to in just a little bit. Kinsey, can you please stop making noises? And, um, oh, here we go. There's the live feed. There, look at, there I am, looking at my computer. <laughs> um, okay, so, oh, I gotta turn that volume down. Okay. Set this over here so we can see what, what you all see. Also, today at 9.45, which I have set my lovely teacher timer to, um, we are going to, so tomorrow, we have a very special guest that we're going to try to merge into our Facebook Live feed. Her name is Super Stoli, and she is an awesome musician that does lots of fun and exciting kids songs and interactive songs um, so in preparation for tomorrow's um, guest we are going to at 9 45 today we're going to try to merge her in today just to make sure it works okay so I've set my timer so that I don't forget because sometimes I can be a little forgetful um, so that's very exciting I'm very excited to see if it will work um, that being said let's move on with our morning Wells, would you like to tell everybody about your exciting news? My exciting news is I lost a tooth. Wells lost her first tooth yesterday. So the tooth fairy came in late and left some, some money. Left some money in a little envelope and she left some fairy dust and that's some... very golden and mm -hmm. sparkly. Wells' tooth fairy, everybody I think has different tooth fairies, but Wells' tooth fairy left, left a little fairy dust on the floor, which she was very excited about when she woke up today. Do you want to show them where you lost your tooth? Show them. And then we got our other tooth over here. It's very wiggly, and Kinsey can't wait to lose her teeth too, but I think it's going to be a few more years. Not the well, um, other one is that wiggly. Like, like that one you can't pull that out right now. It's All not right. that wiggly. It is birthday time. Dun, dun, dun. Um, you forgot to call out my name. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Kinsey. Kinsey is my other daughter. But today is Wells' day, so Kinsey's day will be tomorrow. All right, we don't have that many birthdays today. So, if it is your birthday, happy birthday. If I do not call out your name, it is not because I... Please stop. Okay. Thank you. It is not because um, I don't care about your birthday. It's just because I didn't know. For those of you who are also just tuning in, the best way for me to know about somebody's birthday is to let me know the night before um, the birthday. So I always put a post up the night before with the message for the next day so you can be prepared. Um, that would be the best way I know that this for me to find out your information. Don't tell me too early because there's lots of stuff going on here and it's a very good chance that it will get lost before the birthday. So the night before, if you have a, a weekend birthday, Tell me on Thursday night's post. So, here we go. Today, dun, 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 it is Logan's first birthday. Rowan is turning two. Nate is turning five. Braxton is turning five. Gracie's turning five. Alyssa's five. And Adam is six. And Matilda's grandma is 80. Happy birthday, everybody. Let's all sing. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday if it's your birthday. Happy birthday to um, you. Is Adam or Adam? We have a cousin named Adam, and it's not his birthday today. Let's see how we are feeling today. Hi, Adam. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Harrison. Hi, Wyatt. Hi, Maverick. Hi, Uncle Ryan. Hi, Aunt Ashley. Thank you, sweetheart. Can you actually move to Mommy, the other side? I, don't I got this for my birthday, so I know it's mine. But I'm a little tired today. The weather is rainy and stormy today. And the like thunder oh, woke some me. Thunder this morning. And so. it woke me up, so I got to go snuggle with yeah. Daddy in bed. Kim, All right, Kinsey, girls. With her stuffies, Mom Thank you. Daddy. All right, here we go. No, and I want to tell them something. What do you want to tell them? Um, I thought the thunder, the thunder was a garbage truck. Kinsey thought the thunder was garbage truck. Hello, everybody. Your head. Everybody in the months of the year, please. Kinsey, can you please step I'm over still here? Oh. Mommy, can you oh. Okay, oh. let's move this. Um, we are, we are very step. chatty today. Hey, mommy, so hey, I'm mommy, sorry about that. Kinsey and Wealth, we need to show good examples on how we don't interrupt and we wait our turn when it is our turn to talk. Okay? Wells, thanks for raising your hand. What did you want to say? Um, so maybe, um... We can post like um, a picture of the fairy dust so that you can see what it looks like. Um, well, we'll, t we'll talk about that later. Okay. Can you please lead us in our months of the year? Okay. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. January, February, March, April, May. We go outside and play, play, play. June, July, August and September, back to school so we remember October, November, and December. We know our months, so we end the song here. We know our months, so we end the song here. Very nice job. I mean, what did you just do? I just refreshed our feed to make it. Um, so that it's a little bit closer to when we're oh, actually doing it. Okay. I'm gonna find my quad, baby. Wells, what day of the week song would you like to do? Would you like to do the cha-cha-cha, the days of the week, or the Sunday-Monday song? I think I'll stick 
Days of the week. Days of the week. Oh. All right. Mommy. Wait, I want to do the new one that I just yes. Okay. Okay, you clap when I clap. Oh, I'm going to clap. Well, made up another new Days of the Week song. Okay. Job. Guess what? I forgot to put the month of May back up there. So, um, will you bring it on over so that everybody can see the month what? of May? How do we write the word May? Don't you can't you can't be doing this because then they can't see it. You gotta hold it nice and steady. Mommy, can and I just use the back of this paper? No, you may not. Can you put that in there, please? It's can see cliff. You just said N. That's not how I spell. Can May. you please put M A Y? M A Y. What if May was spelled M-Y-A? Well, then it wouldn't say May, would it? No. All right, Wells, what day May. of the week is it today? May. How are you going to figure that out? Tell, your, tell everybody watching, how are you going to figure out what day of the week it is? We are very tired today. Look at the calendar. How are you going to figure out what day of the week it is? Oh, very good. Thank you for doing that. What day is it today? Tuesday. Nope, it is not Tuesday. What day of the week is it today? It is Thursday. Can you bring um, Wait, that over? Wait, Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday. Look at the two letters <laughs> that Thursday starts with. <coughs> Kinsey, can you please stop? That stringy. T-H. Thursday. Put that in there, please. All right. I while they're doing that, what I'm doing is we lost our weather graph, so I printed out another one, and I need to color it back in to how it was. So while Wells is doing that, that's what I'm working on over here. Wells, um, can you find the Thursday up there and put it in the yellow where it says today is? Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. If today is Thursday, what was yesterday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Very Yesterday good. Yesterday was Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. If today is Thursday, Wells, what will tomorrow be? Friday. Dun, da, da, da. Friday. So, repeat after me. Can you please sit down so they can see? Tomorrow is pajama day. Yes, that's right. Tomorrow is pajama day. Repeat after me. That means I go first and you go second. Today is Thursday. Your turn. Today is Thursday. My turn. I already said Yesterday Wednesday. was Wednesday. Your turn. Yesterday was Wednesday. Can you say it a little bit nicer, Kinsey? Sit down. Yeah. Tomorrow, Tomorrow will, be will be Friday. Your turn. Tomorrow will be Friday. All right. Now, Wells, we need to put a number in there. I know you know what number goes in next, but let's start at the beginning. To Excuse me, wait a second. Let's start at the beginning and let's all count together. Let me hear you all count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and today is fourteen. Fourteen. How do we make a fourteen? What does a fourteen look like? Fifteen. What does a fourteen look like? It's uh. Well, let's look at our pattern. We have a one and a four. Yes. Let's look at our pattern. A one and a zero. A one and a one, a one and a two, a one and a three, and a one and a a four. What color is it going to be? Let's let's do our pattern for colors. How about we start off uh, that way? So it's still let's like just, we're starting off at the beginning, just we're starting still at the same spot. Just okay. Well, for some of the people who've never done this before, let's start at the beginning. Blue. We're gonna do the colors pattern. Black. You got to point to them, oh, sweetheart. I have to. Red. Black, 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 red, 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 black, red, red, black, black, red, red, black, black, red, red, black, black, a black one and a four. Start at the top and down we run. That's the way we make a one. Down and over and down some more. 
That's the way we make a four. Around the tree, that's around the tree, that's the way we make a piece? three. That's right. And I was weaving that. How old are these, Mommy? What's the oh. weather? What's the weather? What's How the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it snowy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it cloudy? Is it windy? Is it foggy out today? Do you know what I really like about that song? I like that when I go like this for what's the weather, what shape am I kind of sort of making with my arms? A W. A W. And what sound does what and weather start with? W. Not, not the letter. What sound does it start with? W. Yes, well. Very good. So we're making a W. 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 All right, Wells, what is the weather like today? The weather is stormy. It sure is stormy. And we can probably put rainy too. So, what? Did you put them in over there? After this, we are going to. Sing a song and then read a story. Mommy, um, where did you put Thunder and Lightning? Hold on. Did you did you put them up there? Can you scoot over, please? Ah, mommy, well, still from yesterday. I haven't even felt what that style is. But what is the weather? I have felt what. What is the weather like today, Wells? Stormy and it's cool. Stormy and rainy and cool. So, what are we going to color in on our weather graph today? We're going to color in one more block of rainy, and then Wells can color in one block of, can, you can't see him right in front of the camera, sweetheart. One and block of stormy. Now. And then we'll, and then, and then we'll talk about this, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, your weather graph and my weather graph will probably look very different, unless you live in Lake Bluff. If you live in Lake Bluff, then they'll probably be the same. Um, we also don't do our weather graphs on I'm the weekend. Well, did you want to color in rainy or um, stormy? One you color in rainy? rectangle. I did color in the rainy while you were working on it. Okay, you're right in front of the camera so they can't see. So it's, I don't like, um, I can't stormy going to be black? Eat. Yep. Stormy has the least amount. Graphs are a great way. This marker is running out a little bit. That's okay. We'll fill it in a little bit later. Okay, finish up. Graphs are a great way to learn a lot of different math concepts. We'll talk about some numbers, we'll talk about some comparisons, and more and less. So, Wells, let's take a look at our weather graph here. Wells, how many days has it been sunny? Ooh, um, four. Four. So she goes over to the sun, and she pulls her finger up to the very top of the line and pulls it over to see that the number is four. Wells. What two types of weather have we had the same amount of so far? Nope. Mm. We've had one stormy day and zero windy days. That's right. Cloudy and rainy, we have both had how many days? Two. Try counting those again. Three. One, two, three. Or you can bring your finger to the top and pull them over and see three. Kinsey, how many days have we had partly cloudy? Mommy, it's my day. I know. I'm just letting her have a little turn. And I get to do a little um, two. Two. Very good. Nice job. All and right. I get to do a little. Hey, we forgot two of them. Stormy and. It's okay. All right. It's time for a song. Wait, Some why movement. not over? Now people can't read it. Can you just take a relaxing chill pill, please? Thank you. Okay. Wells chose a song for today. What song did you choose? <laughs> Oh, a great song for today. Um, it's one of my favorites, actually. And it's an oldie but a goodie but a newie. That doesn't make any sense. Um, okay. <laughs> so, this is... You should, you should probably not carry that over me in case you drop it. All, of my all right, sweetheart. Um, okay, this song is Miss Megan's Camp Kindergarten version of the Bobby McFerrin song, Don't Worry, Be Happy. And I need everybody's help with the oohs. The oohs in the middle go, ooh, 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 ooh. Don't worry, ooh, 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 be happy. Ooh, 
Can you all try that with me? Let's try that again. Ready? One, two, three. job. All right. I'll, I'll let you know when they're coming up. Okay, I didn't hear you say to wait, Wells. There's no reason that we need to. St no, we are not getting that out. And we're just bringing it down here because this. Well, sweetheart, I am, we are in the middle of a of a camp kindergarten. Okay, if you are asking me to wait so you can go bring that down so that it's down here afterwards, that makes me a little frustrated. Okay, because we don't need that down here. And now we had to stop the song because you were crying and carrying on. Are you going to come join us or not? I'm going to restart the song right now. Sorry, everybody. Here's the little song I wrote. You might want to sing it. No, for no, don't worry. We should take some advice from the song. Be happy. You gonna sing? Yeah. Every day we'll have some trouble.
lesson from that song, don't we? Mommy. Don't worry. Be happy. Mommy, can, yes. I, can I do this? Thanks for everything. They, they were heard it the whole time that we were playing that song. Right, but hey, how long wait, it stop. can stay? Stop. Thank you for pulling yourself together. Okay? Appreciate that. Can I show everybody how long this can stay? Oh. It's yeah, still I playing. I didn't hear when you were doing the song because I, I heard a strange note. Wells is trying to show you how long the noise lasts. We need to keep moving on. Still going. Yes, I know it's still going. Okay, can you please move? Mommy, I, okay, thank I you. I heard a strange noise that. Sweetheart, that that's I, enough. I think it was my baby. Oh my god. My goodness. baby crying. But well, it came from my daddy. Okay, we are going to read a story now. Um, are you going to help me with this here. big giant book? It oh, came, I got to go get a chair. It came from my daddy. Okay. But well, we're not going in. Me. We're not I mean, going I don't, in. Right I now. want mommy to hold the pages. Okay. I'm starting the story. Kinsey, stop talking. Mm -hmm. Wells, are you going to join me or no? I'm going to sit here to make sure they're okay. able to see. Because remember the last time there was a phone call? Yes. I I learned from that mistake, and our um, uh, phone is set to the right stuff. Bella lost her moo by Judith Zorfus. <laughs> I want to check your heart. I don't want my heart checked that right sounds now. Silly. Can we see it all, Wells? Yep. All right. Bella is a happy cow who always likes to play. She calls upon her front, her barnyard friends each bright and sunny day. Moo! Bella greets each friend she sees with a merry moo. This means good day, hello, and hi, or even how are you? One day when Bella met the dog, a bow wow, he did shout. But when Bella tried to make a moo, not a single sound came out. Bow wow. Oh no, oh no, what can I do? I'm so afraid I've lost my moo. Meow, said the cat. Come on, let's go. We'll run and jump about. But when Bella tried to voice her moo, not a single sound came out. Oh no, oh no, what can I do? I really think I've lost my moo. He did. Oink, oink, squealed Pig to say hello through her whiskered, whiskered snout. But when Bella tried so hard to moo, not a single sound came out. Oink, oink. All right, let's see if we can read this together, Wells. Oh, no. Oh, no. What can I do? I can't. Believe I've lost my, my moo. Yes, Kinsey. Question. There is a question mark right there. Good job. Can you scooch over though? Because you're blocking. I and know. Because we have them. Okay, you said I knew. Like, when Horse saw Bella looking sad, he neighed. What makes you pout? Bella tried once more to moo, but not a single sound came out. Nay. Okay, let's see if we can do it together. Oh no, oh no, what can I do? I've, ooh, this is a big word, absolutely lost my moo. Good job, everybody at home, helping me read those words. Mommy. Kinsey, please stop. That makes a noise. Okay, well, can you go put this somewhere else? It's very distracting right now. Go on, put it over there, please. Don't worry, Bella, said her friends. We'll help you find your moo. Kinsey, please stop talking. We'll go and find the wise old owl who knows just what to do. Kinsale, please stop talking. Okay, come sit right here. Because when you are talking and I am reading, everybody at home can't hear the words that I'm reading because they hear you're talking. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Get a big and heavy pot and some water that is hot. Get a spoon for everyone. Start to mix and mix a lot. First, we'll add the pig's oink oink with just a pinch of cat's meow. Now we'll add the horse's neigh with a dash of dog's bow wow. Come on, Bella, fill your bowl. Do you like this stew? Yes, I like it very much, and it makes me moo. Bella's moo was never lost. Her, just 
her throat was sore. Then Bella asked politely, please, may I have some more? Moo! The end. All right. Well, let's come on over so we can do our morning message. That book was short. Let's make sure that we can see. I don't think they can see everything. Let's try that. Come on over. Oh, I need this. There we go. So All right. You... Um, Mommy, I want to get to write with my favorite can you color. Me? Mommy, why did you get to oh. write with um, my sister's favorite because color? Because pink doesn't show up very well. And purple does. Because purple's a little bit darker than pink. That is why I didn't use pink. I thought about it. Yes, well, I see your point. Let's read our message, okay? Good morning. Good morning. Today is Thursday, May 14th. Your turn. Wait, we Today forgot something that is good morning. Thursday. Good morning, because I just saw that there were two exclamation points. Today is Thursday, May 14th. Your turn. Today is Thursday, May 14th. Now you can read this. The... Big P uh, pig. Uh huh. Start again. The big pig has has a chop it out. Cool. A wig. Yes, a wig. Let's read it all together. The, the big, big pig. pig has a wig. I need you to move. Okay, let's read the next one together. The, the big pig, pig dances a chop that one out. Jig. Jig. A jig is a little dance. The big pig dances a jig. Alright, let's find our sight Love words. Miss Love Miss Megan. Megan. Wells, can you please find the word is? I S is. I S is. Oh. Don't start Why are all the is Why are the is Start it from the top. Start it from the top. Thank you. All right, put. Cindy, I, know what, I know you. How many? Know. How many is's are there, Wells? One. Start at the top and down we run. That's the way we make a one. All this right. Is anyway, even though there's none Can you find the word the? Words, there's still, it's Wells, still going to be look. a really big. Wells, look. The. The. T H E. The. Can you find the word the? This one might be a little tricky because it's not going to look exactly like my word. Oh, you found it. Because it is the beginning of a sentence, so it is a capital letter T in your circling. Very good. How many thes are there? Two. Around and back on the railroad track. Two, two. All right, here comes the next hey. popcorn word. Hey. The next popcorn word is what, Wells? What is that word? The what is this word right here in front of you? Chop it out if you don't know. This is the word big. Big? Yeah. I thought it was. Oh, I was kind of covering up some of the letters. The. Nope, that's a B. B says B. Big. Big. B. I. G. Big. Can you find the word big and circle it, please, in blue? Very good. And one more. Because I wrote the message. All right, are you guys all finding your popcorn words at home? Very good. All right, we've got one more word to find, and it's the word uh. Letter A says a. Uh. Can you find it for me, please? Oh, very good. Can't forget that. Okay, let's keep moving. We got a lot to do in a little bit of time. You have to circle them. Find the word a, uh, please. Oh. There's one. That one coming. And there's one. Okay, put your two down there. Well, this is one. All right, and let us count to right. see five? how many Wait, pop. No, can you scooch over? You're blocking it. some of it, and people Just can't two, see. Two, scooch four. over. Scooch four. <laughs> I hope it's Let's two. count together. One, two, two three, eight, four, five, six, seven. seven. How do we make a seven? Across the sky and down where Revan. 
That's the way we make a seven. All right, I need you to scooch over. Did you know that these are all my five And while she's doing that, we're going to read another story. I'm going to start because it's been taking us forever today. Wait, my all I need is help getting on that. All right, this story is called Nothing is Scary with Harry. And this story is actually written by Katie McElligot. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. And she is actually one of our members, and she sent this book to me. Nothing is Scary with Harry, illustrated by Jennifer A. Bell. Nothing is Scary with Harry. Can, can we see that okay? In the camera? Mommy, is she yeah. watching Wait, right now? Wait, I think we need to turn it more straight because it's all crooked. There. So it's okay. So can actually see the it's, board. No, it's okay. This is Harry. He's a blanket. This is Katie. She's a little girl. Katie takes Harry with her everywhere she goes because when Katie snuggles Harry, the world seems a little less scary. Thunderstorms become happy, dancing raindrops. A visit to the doctor becomes a trip for lollipops. And the monster in the closet becomes a friendly ball of fur. That big old lion becomes a kitty cat that purrs. I'm going to scooch a little bit closer because I think Let's that you can't it, see. Mommy. Purr is like... One day, Katie met a lady who said, Blankets are for babies. Katie said, Not true, as she gave a little wave. My Harry is for me because he makes me extra brave. With Harry, jumping off the high dive feels like a little splash. A chicken pox attack seems like a simple rash. And dancing to a full house becomes a stroll across the stage. A growly old great auntie becomes a friend of any age. One day, a boy told Katie, You're way too big for that blanket. Katie said, No way. I don't care how big I get. When I am with Harry, it's the bad things I forget. With Harry, it's not scary. Riding a roller coaster feels like a little bump. Climbing that giant tree seems like stepping on a stump. And taking a scary test feels like playing a game. Speaking to a large crowd becomes a shot at fame. I feel like this looks a little blurry. I'm just going to rub um, over. Sorry, guys. I'm going to rub over my camera lens because I'm not sure if um, it's a little cloudy. Let's try that. Then the day arrived that Katie wanted to avoid. Her mom was holding Harry, looking quite annoyed. This thing is not a blanket. He's a heaping pile of holes. I'm really, really sorry, but Harry has to go. No! At last, Katie took a deep breath and said, but mom, you don't understand. Any blanket can keep my outsides toasty. Harry is special because he keeps my insides brave and cozy. Her mom finally sighed and replied, you're right, life can be scary. So how can it be wrong to hold tight to something that makes you feel strong? Although he's only held together by memories and fray, your brave friend Harry has earned the right to stay. Katie screamed, yay! Katie grabbed Harry and held him tight and instantly felt everything was all right. And so, Katie kept holding Harry tight. They both grew older and older. Harry grew thinner and thinner. Katie grew taller and taller. And then one special day, Katie had a baby of her own. Katie looked in her baby's eyes, so big and so bright, and with that whole filled blanket, she swaddled her tight. With a smile and a tear, she said, I wish you a life of adventure that's just a tad bit scary. You're going to rock this world because I'm giving you my best friend, Harry. The end. Do you have a special thing in your life that helps make things better when things might get a little scary? My baby. Wells has her special Wilbur that I used to be talk. my Wilbur that I passed down to her. Please don't put your feet up there. And Kinsey has her special... Um, no bitty baby stuff. No, no, no. You have your special bear that's Mommy Cass, right? That was my bear as well. No, her, yeah. her bunny either. 
Okay, well, we have lots of special things. I would love to see your special things. So maybe after our class, you can you take mean, a picture with you, your special well, theory. Well, I mean that name, that's just plain cast to you because it was I know. yours. I know, sweetheart. Mm. Okay. All right. I think maybe um, we're going to try our time. Well, no, we got a little bit more time. All right, let's do, can you scooch over, please? Ugh. Oh. Well, I need you to, actually, I'm going to just erase the board because we need to do this quickly. Well, I need you to come on over here. We are going Why to. I want this. Can I give it to you? Nope. Ready? I don't need anything right now. We are going to put together some puzzles, some word puzzles, for just a Mom, couple of minutes before we try to connect with Stoli. Okay? Are they magnetic? Ba, 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 ba. They're not magnetic. All right, so they are magnetic because I added magnets to them. All right, let's see here. This is magnetic. I'm going to put some pieces up here on the board. Can I do some of them together? All right. We're probably going to mix them up. We're just going to start with those two. I have the word bus. B U S. And I have the word bed. Stay over there, please. B E D. Okay. Wells needs to figure out which letters go together to make the word bus and which letters go together to make the word bed. Can you help her come at home? Stay to the side so they can see. All right, which one are you going to work on first? This one. That one? Okay, let's show them. What letter is this? S. S. I hmm. think I'll save that for the very end of the bus. Okay. Because at the very end the of the bus. The very end of the bus is an S. Scooch over Mommy, to the side so they see can see. I want to see at the end of those. Hmm, I wonder if hmm. you Mommy. This is kind of hard for them to see when you're standing right in front. Mommy, kind of not me see the end of the Okay, bed. where's the, I wonder oh, if let's, was one. that going to fit there? No, I'll try this. You going to try that one first? Yeah. Okay. I just want Does to it sure. fit? Uh-uh. Now, that, it's, it. scooch over. It's right. B goes in the beginning of bus, but the picture doesn't match, does it? Uh -uh. Now I'm going to type it. I just wanted to let them scooch know over, that puzzles are very tricky. Puzzles can be very tricky. We're actually working on a big giant puzzle called Doug the Pug. Very yeah, good. Let's say it together. Like teeny tiny pieces that are like square things. Bus. Let's chop it out. B. A. Uh, s. Let's do it again. B. A. Uh, s. Bus. Can you scooch over just a little bit, please? I didn't get to see this. When, we, when we're working on putting our sounds together, oh. sweetheart. Oh, I want to see that end of the bus. I need for you to get out of the way. Because they can't see when you're standing right in front. Turn around. When we are chopping out our words, my goodness, you've got giant yawns today. Uh, we are going to say, b -a -s. we can do it very staccato like, like, b -a -s. or we can blend our sounds together. B -a -s. Bus. Bus. All right. And what's the other one? Please don't do that. What's the other one? After this, we're going to try to merge Super Stoli. Did as you long, find bed? As long as I do it quick, can we do one more? We'll do one more after we're done, okay? Scoot to the side so they can see. Well, Very I good. Let's all um, do our chopping out together. B, e, d, bed. Do you mind if we do fox and the next? D, bed. Very good. Fox and the next one. All right, one. we can do it real fast, and then we're going to merge with Super Stoli. All right, oh, all right, we got two more words. And all right, we've got two I'll words. Start off with the pig. We've got pig and we have fox. Uh, pig. Let's go here. I, g, and fox. Wow. Ah. Does this go here? Well, let's come on. Does this go here? Do you think it goes there? Let me try this because it was right at the top and right at the bottom. All right, I need you to still scooch over. You, you have to try to stay to the side. Yeah, I know it's kind of tricky. And I go like this. Very good, pig. Oops. Here, watch. I can just let's chop paper. this out together. P pig. Pig. Yeah. Let's do it again, kids. Look at here. Good. P pig. E g. Pig. One more time. Pig. P pig. Say, say p. I, I, g. G. 
pig. Pig. Good job, sweetheart. And the last one is fox. Let's do it together. Ready? Make the sound. Fast. No. Look at the letter. Ah. ah. Good job. All right. The time has come for us. After here's what's going to happen for the rest of our time. We're going to try to merge stole, Super Stoli. And then after that, we're going to sing another song. And then our time will be done. So stick with us because we're going to do a really fun song to end our time together. Probably a crowd favorite. So um, let me see here. I'm going to actually put my AirPods in so that I can hear when Stoli has connected. All this technology stuff. Kenzie, can you stop, please? So she may not be able to hear you. All right. So. Can okay. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Oh, there we are! Yay! Okay, hang on. We did it so fast. <laughs> I know. I I gotta take. Hang on a second. I gotta take my phone so I can see what I'm doing. Can't bring. Oh, it says I can't bring you on the camera. Let me see if you're showing. You're not showing. So you're not showing up on um my feed on the computer. I don't think. Hmm. Well, let me just see. Maybe there's a delay. Because I see I you see on my it phone. On my screen, but I don't know if it's. Oh, there. Just... Yep, you're there. Yay! All okay. I see is pig and fox. Pig and fox. Pig and fox. Pig and fox. All right. Everybody. Hi, guys. Let's all welcome. Hi, Kinsey. Hi, Will. Can you say hi? They, they can't hear you because you're in my AirPods. Oh, um, right. Super Stoli, see you over here? She says hello. So everybody who is tuning in, I'm going to introduce you to Super Stoli. We're not going to have a conversation because of the delay, but she's going to give you a little... Um, uh, introduction to herself and maybe a little bit of what we might do tomorrow when she joins us. So, yeah. everybody, welcome Super Stoli. Hi, guys. My name is Super Stoli. I'm a children's musician based in Chicago. I've been singing for kids for almost 15 years, and all my music is everywhere you listen online. Just look up Super Stoli. So, tomorrow, when I jump on the show, and thanks for having me, Miss Megan, we go way back to our Chicago music days. Um, I'm going to sing you a couple of my original songs for kids. So tune in tomorrow and just get ready to dance because I love dancing and singing together. They just go together. Awesome. awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try to take you back out, and then we're going to yeah. finish our time here. I'll see so, you tomorrow. Awesome. Bye. Bye. Adios. Oh, that was so fun. Okay, let me see if I can. I don't know how to get you out of here. I'll just dance and smile till I go. <laughs> um, to the to the end. Seriously, I don't know how to. Um, you might be on until we end our live feed because I don't know how to. Uh... <laughs> Maybe I just go away. Can you? Away. Can you? Bye. End? Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, that was so fun. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so exciting. Thank you for being our guinea pigs here with that. Um, so tomorrow, at the very end of our class together, Super Stoli will be on to sing some of her awesome and engaging um, children's music. So that was really exciting. Let's sing a song. Everybody, jump on up. No, grab your instruments. We are going to do, Kinsey, did you want to do the mask song? No. No, I thought you wanted to do the mask song. I do it for the Oh, I thought they chose the mask song. Well, we are going to do the cat came back because that's the song I wanted. Oh, look at that. It's a crowd favorite. The very old song that Lori Berkner redid. You can also find the cat came back on Miss Miss Megan's Camp Kindergarten Volume 1 album that is out on music platforms. Here we go!
Did that cat come back? Guess what? We have time for one more song. So we're just gonna sing one, one more song. Do 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 to celebrate. Okay, here um, we go. Like you, Would you like, like to put your mask on? Uh, where is it? Um, there's one over there. Uh, Kenzie's is right. Oh, there's your, there's your other mask. All right, this is a Miss Megan original. Here we go. Oh, maybe I can add, uh, I'm not gonna put that on right now. Okay. all for tuning in today get excited for some super stolen tomorrow um, um, can I tell you what 
just a little just a little background super stoli um i met super stoli uh like 15 years ago when i first started um playing the guitar after college um i started going and doing open mics in chicago and stoli was one of the hosts of one of the open mics that I used to go to all the time. So um, I'm excited for her to now come on my show. <laughs> so anyways, um, I hope you had fun today. Thank you for sticking with us with um, figuring out the technology stuff. And um, remember that tomorrow is pajama day. If you have a birthday tomorrow or over the weekend, please let me know in my post tonight for tomorrow's message. And Let's give a big shout out for hitting 100,000 members in our group. I'm super excited. Maybe we'll have a party next week. Um, all right. Thanks Bye, for tuning in. Um, remember that what makes you different is what makes you beautiful. Always be kind. And, and always, always have fun. Mommy, can I say something?